my hair is an absolute mess. I'm poofy. Wait, look at the poof. Look at the poof. Don't let me drown. Hey, what's up, you guys? Today, I want to share with you the footage of what I did the other day. So the other day, I went to a podcast thing interview with another student who also does like, actual podcasty stuff and website stuff, and I'm going to link all that stuff in the description down below. Fake lashes. Attractive. What do we think? That's taken me literally 20 minutes to do and I'm fucking proud of it. Like, look. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my vlog. I've got half my makeup on, half no makeup. And today I'm vlogging because I am going to meet up with someone who found me through my channel who wants to do an interview talky chat thing because they're a student in this like the centre of London, like City of London Uni. Not the same uni that I go to. But they are doing like a podcast sort of thing and I got asked if I would have a chat and I said yes and I'm super excited and decided to vlog today. So let's get on with the day and let's have some fun. Let's be who we want to be. And I'm watching Disney Channel films because I've run out of things to watch on Netflix. I tried to match it. I think I did okay. Like, if they start smoking every time you straighten your hair. You pro they're still smoking. If your hair, like if your hair is trying to smoke every time you try and use them, um, get new ones. There's advice. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I've been filming videos all morning. I've only just realised that my microphone is unplugged. Oh god! We're gonna have crap audio for a few videos. <laughs> oh no! That's not the right medication. There we go. Like, she literally messaged me on everything. Yeah, yeah, no, because like this is the thing, right? As a journalist, like it's so difficult to get interviews. Like I literally have to message people on like every single platform to get like one yeah, response. I'm just like, oh, I got an email. I got literally everything. I know okay. you responded like instantly. I was like, oh my god, love that. <laughs> I answer pretty much like just because I can normally. Hi everyone. Hello. What's up? Welcome. We're chilling. Hi. So um. I'm Romy, I'm a journalism student at City University um, and yeah, I'm doing a little interview with Lydia today about her journey and her experiences with her mental health journey. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at thisisromy um, and I also have a website which is at thisisromy.net. So, I'll link them all in the description. So Lydia, um, when did your mental health like issues or problems start? Like when did for things first get difficult for you? Um, six, seven years ago. Like I was living with my mom, so it was quite a while ago. And it was mainly my mood kept just up and down constantly. And then beyond that, it was like lots of trauma. Then things just crashed, and I went impatient without really knowing what was going on. like a chance of working there's always work to try once so what do you think the most important thing is for other people and for yourself when you know you're struggling and you're on a road to recovery what's like the most important thing for you reach out to people always even if you get a hung up on it's always worth like just phoning like a friend phoning a helpline phoning a charity charities are okay just talk to you or just like even like going to see the GP the day after or finding a way of releasing what you're thinking like you know talking to the voice notes at what you're thinking and then just deleting it like not having to look back on it it helps going forward you know, what's what are like your hopes and aspirations and dreams? I know you're studying film at university, you know. I don't really know at the moment. I want to get more into documentary production, like professionally. But I just go with it now. I'm not trying to force myself to do things anymore. I'm just going with it. 
like doing the film degrees, one, I get to learn new stuff, and two, I'm just interested in like all the other kinds of film. Well, I don't like do like like fiction films or anything. Like I can't I can't come up with, like a sci-fi genre like script or anything. I'm terrible at it. I can do like documentary stuff, but I also get to have an experiment with it. So it's a bit of fun. Mm -hmm. And what's like the way that you would hope that things would change in our mental health system? You know, going forward, what needs to happen? What do you think? Needs to happen? I feel like they, I don't know. I would say they need to employ more people. What they do try and employ more people. I think. They just need to offer more lines of communication with people. Even if it's just sending a letter saying how far, like how long they got to wait for, or an estimation of time, or just like phone once, like a month, say, oh, how are you doing? Mm. And not dismissing people, like saying, oh, are well, you just a borderline, so yeah, I'm to go deal with it. Mm. So I've had that before as well. Like, like, oh, you're just a borderline, so which that diagnosis is so stigmatised. So it's like. I don't know. They just need to be less judgmental, I think. Or more educated on the diagnosis rather than being like, oh, well, everyone else says you're attention seekers, so I'm going to go with that. Because I've had people say that as well, that are professionals. So it's just, I think it just needs more support for people and treat them like humans rather than little tip marks. And, you know, given the fact that you do have YouTube now, you feel like you're more part of a community. Maybe also you're away from your mom, you're like yeah. doing things more that you love. Do you feel like, you know, do you feel like you're better now than you were? Definitely got better than I was, definitely. So when I started YouTube originally, I was really depressed. And then I got even worse. It's kind of, it shows in the videos for one, but like you can also see that the progression through like when I was impatient to now. And it's like, I watched that video, I filmed a little video while I was impatient. Like the whole experience that I had and then when I came out I was like oh do I post this and I was like if I edit all like the little bits of that like, can't go online it would be okay and I put that out and then like now I look back at it and I'm just like how did I get to where I am now to from then it's, it's I don't know I love it I literally love doing it amazing that was it cool I'm gonna turn my camera off we've nearly filmed for a whole 29 minutes wow <laughs>